Hi, everyone. Welcome to my um, weekly live, A Day Late. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, though. I'm, I'm happy that you're here. And I am using the, today I am using the Cheerful Daisies Bundle, which this is a stamp set. However, I'm hardly using any of the stamps. And I'm also using the Go-To Greetings. And one last thing, let me show you the Cheerful Daisies dies right here. So um, I'm doing something a little bit different tonight. Um, I'm using a lot of the dies, but I'm going to show you. I wanted to do have some accents with silver. And we used to have, it's hard to tell in this um, on camera, but we used to have silver paper and we no longer have it. So I'm going to show you how you can create your own. So anyway, I hope you like the projects today. I do want to tell you, if you're new um, to, to my channel, please make sure that you um, let us know so we give you a warm welcome. And if you're returning, as always, thank you for joining me. Um, we do. I just got an email, and I don't know all the specifics. I just glanced at it. But we're having bonus days in July. So for every $50 purchase in July, you'll get a $5 coupon kind of like Kohl's cash that you can use in August. So that's kind of exciting. So um, I'll bring you more information on that a little bit later. But anyway, also today and tomorrow are the last days to sign up for the kit special, the starter kit special. Normally you get, uh, you get to choose $125 in product for $99 to join Stampin' Up!, um, however, for these next two days only, you get to choose $155 worth of product for $99. So it gives you a, um, a little bit extra to add to your kit. So if you're thinking about it, whether you want to be a business demonstrator or just want to enjoy the hobby for yourself and get the, um, the discount on your own purchases, make sure that you... Um, Sign up today or tomorrow so you don't miss out on that. I'd love to have you on my team, and we welcome both business demonstrators and hobby demonstrators. Okay? Um, and also, don't forget, um, tomorrow is the last day for the DSP sale, too, Designer Series Paper. So it's 15% off selected um, styles. So there you have it. So let me show you the projects we're going to make today. We're doing this one right here, and as you can see, there's um, it looks like silver paper, but I actually embossed white paper. Okay, and then this is the second card, and this is so simple, but it's so cute, so I think you'll like that as well. And then this right here is a seed packet, and I'm not going to open it right now. I'll show you in a little bit, but inside I have um, daisy seeds, little packets. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Most of this, the die cuts I have done. So we're going to start off with this one first. Let me show you. All right. So ladies, if you want more information or if you um, are interested in joining my team, please let me know and I can walk you through um, signing up or answer any questions that you may have. Okay, so I'm working with Bubble Bath, and unfortunately, Bubble Bath doesn't show up very well on screen, but it's very beautiful if you haven't seen it. Okay, so this is 11 by 4 and a quarter, scored at 5 and a half. All right, so this is the portrait style. Um, then I have two pieces here of basic white. The top one is 3 and 3 quarters by 3 and a half. I embossed it with the, uh, it's called Quattro foil um, embossing folder, and I'm backing it with another piece of ba basic white, which is just slightly larger. It is four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. So I'm going to put these two together, and you'll see PO on the bottom. <laughs> That's my sister's initials because I didn't have time to get my glue together. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to put these together. And I like glue because it, you have some wiggle room. Okay, now I am going to trim off the side just a tiny bit. 
Thanks, Susie. I'm glad you like it. I see a bunch of my friends jumping on. And Margaret, it won't be long till our retreat and I'll get to meet you in person. So it's kind of nice. You as well, Kristen. Okay, so we're going to put this down. Also, ladies, if you um, like this video, please make sure you share it. Um, because that helps me to reach a larger audience. It helps me to continue doing what I'm doing. Otherwise, I'll have to get a J-O-B. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> okay. All right. So now I die cut using the Countryside Corners um, dies right here. And by the way, um, it, people ask me where I get these. These magnetic boards I get from Stampin' Storage, and I do have a link on my blog. You can catch it at stampingala.com, and just click on the link, and it'll direct you to um, Stampin' Storage. But I like these. I do get the 6 by 7 and I also use the pockets that they go in, okay? I like them because it, they stay, um, and I number them. I always put the number of dies in here. So before I put them away, I make sure I have all the pieces. Okay, so I'm going to back this with a piece of bubble bath. Thanks, Kathy. Kristen, I knew you would. It's it's really good. Oh, Lori, um, is it a question I can answer here? Lori is joining my team today, and um, she was on my team a long time ago when I sold jewelry, and we reconnected, and I think it was like 20 years ago. Okay, so I'm just trimming off the corners here and just lining up. I'm just being careful with how I line it up because there's not one this size and I just wanted a really simple border around the DSP. I have my sister here today again helping me um, get ready for my, my um, video today. And her blog is going to be up and running. It's just about ready. They're finishing the final touches. And she's brand new on my team. Actually, I don't know if I mentioned it before. She was actually the person who introduced me to Stampin' Up. But she was working a very busy, stressful job at General Motors. And she recently retired. So now she's joining my team. Okay, I think I got this straight. Okay, I like the ombre look here. Oh, it doesn't look straight. <laughs> A lot of the embossing folders, you can really tell if you have them straight by the pattern. Okay, so I have that. Now I'm going to show you some stuff. Um, I want to point it out here. Okay, Lori, I can call you after, okay? All right, so first of all, I die cut this whole die right here, so it looks like this, okay? All right, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take one of our um, blending brushes, and these are the small ones. Um, I personally like the small ones better. Um, my sister will start, um, she's actually started, she's been making tons of projects, um, to get them on her blog right away. So as soon as her blog goes live, I'll let everybody know so you can check it out. Okay. So you're going to tap on the, the ink right here. And this is bubble bath ink, even though it may not look like it. And then I just kind of make sure it's not, um, 
real blotchy. So I'm going to add color in the center of the flowers just by a circular motion. Now there are little punch outs you can punch out here, but I'm choosing just to leave them in. And if they fall out, that's fine. And if they don't, that's fine too. The smaller ones, you kind of have more of control, I think. Okay, so I added a little bit of color on these. So now what I'm going to do is I have the overlays. So I'm going to take these and I'm going to put some glue on the back. So I'll start with the, the bigger one first. Okay, and what I like to do before I even put the glue on it, uh, that's so sweet, Susie. I'm, I will pass that information on to her. Okay, so we're, I just want to see where it goes before I put the glue on. So anyway, I'm, I just put like a dot behind each little petal. And it goes just like this. All right, so we have that one on. It just gives it some more dimension. All right, now this one goes right here. Well, my sister is here every day, so when you see her stuff, you may be thinking, wow, she does cards like you. And she kind of does. <laughs> and that's okay. I'm glad. <laughs> because you know what? <laughs> I'm honest with my um, the people who I train. <laughs> I'll tell them, no, that doesn't look right. Do it like this. <laughs> Is that right, Patty? Yes, that's correct. <laughs> This is on, the only time in life that she's listened to me, you guys. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> okay, so I have all of the pieces on there, and there you can see it better, okay? I am, however, going to pop these out, the leaf ones. Let me see if I can get it with this, yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. Some of you may have met her anyway at my retreat. There you go. Thanks, Patty. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and put this right here, but I'm going to put it on dimensionals, okay? And do you see my scissors? I think they're way over here. We'll get them right in. Okay. There you go. Thank you. Well, you found them. Oh. No, they're not. It. Okay, so I'm just going to put this one right here. Okay, so what we're going to do is just pop this up. Oh, and I did cut this the leaves off and the reason I did that is I wanted on two different levels so we're going to go right here just like that and then I'm going to put glue behind this one that's funny Pam because I wasn't either but I really like this as well so we're going to just kind of slide this in. So one is lifted and then the bottom one is, is glued on. Okay. So remember I said that I was going to show you how to create the um, silver look. So anyway, this one right here is um, 
this is just die cut. Let me show you. It's die cut with this right here. And this is in the same die. And just wipe. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take our Versamark. And I'm just going to just go like that. And add Versamark to the front of it. And, oh my gosh, oh, here it is. I need to get some more silver embossing powder. I'm going to put this on right here. I'm going to hold this with some tweezers, otherwise I'll burn myself. <laughs> We're just going to heat this. Heather, I have one um, spot left, maybe two, because somebody may have to cancel. So, um, and it's first come, first serve. So, if you're interested, send me a message after. Okay, so see um, how this is now silver. It's hard to see here, but it really is silver. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and put this one down, and then I'm going to add another. So I'm just going to cut this off right, right here. And I'm just gluing this down. Oops. I'm just going to slide this right under here. Thanks. You know what? I'm going to cut it down even more. <laughs> I just want a touch of silver on here, not a whole bunch. Because, yeah, I don't want it to look gaudy or Christmassy. All right, I'm going to take this piece right here. It's just a little tiny piece. Slide this right here. Okay, so far so good. And now I'm going to take another one of these and do the same thing. Just... Direct to paper. That's what they call this. First mark direct to paper. It only takes a minute to do this. Let me see if I can do it without the tweezers. All right, so now I'm going to trim this off as well. So I'll just trim it here, here here. All right. So and like I said, you just need a touch of it. Oops. And one last piece I'm going to save because I want to do something with it, something else. All right. And then we're going to tie a bow. Do you see my glue dots? Mm -hmm. 
Heather, are you a demonstrator? And we're going to trim this off. You want the mini ones? Yeah. Thank you. I'm putting this on with a glue dot. So this is gonna go right here. All right, now we have one other thing to do here. We're gonna stamp the greeting and on this one we have happy birthday. And this is from the Go to greetings. So I am using this one right here. So that's this. And I hope I get it straight. <laughs> Ladies, if you want these make and takes, be sure to place your order. I'm get it says through Saturday, but because I'm doing this late, this um this week, you have until Sunday, okay? So I will send you the make and takes if you place a minimum $40 order before shipping and tax. And by the way, ladies, um, I, for the summertime, I believe I'm switching to Thursdays only because I had my grandson on Wednesdays now, and it's just a bit much to get things done with him here. So watch for me next Thursday instead of Wednesday. Okay. I need to heat this just one more. Okay, so we're going to do some trimming on this. All right, what I like to do is just put it in the trimmer and just eyeball it. That looks good. And I'm going to trim a little bit off the bottom. Okay, and for the rest of it. So everybody likes Wednesday or Thursdays. That's good to know. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to put this on right here with a couple of dimensionals. And what did I do? Oh, here they are. Okay, I'm going to sneak this one in here. And the only reason is because... I don't want it to be too high. Okay, so I have this like this. Now remember I saved this little piece. So I'm gonna cut this off. And add a little bit of glue. Are you done with that card? No, why? I was going to show them your card. Oh, I can have a finished maybe. Okay. All right. So I'm going to add a few of the little um, festive pearls. So let me see. 
We'll do one here, here, and here. So here you go. This is the outside of your card. I hope you like this. Okay, so for the inside, I am simply going to just put these two together. And I do have an additional flower that I put together. So you don't really need to see that again. I'm just going to glue this on and just put this in the center. And I think that looks so cute. On camera, you can't see it that much, but it is adorable. Oh yes, um, you can use any color. If you don't like pink, you can use any color you want. Okay. All right, so now we're going to put this together and your first card will be done. Everybody wants to see your card, Patty. She's finishing it up. So here's your first card. I hope you like them. All right, so we're going to move on to this one. And this one is a little more simple. Um, but I did do something kind of cute here that I'll, I'll point out to you. Okay, so let me bring this stuff in. Okay, so this one is also 11 by four and a quarter and scored at five and a half. So we're gonna fold this over and use the bone folder. Okay, and then we're gonna put these two basic white sheet um, pieces together. Shelly, I need to give you a call tomorrow. I have to ask you some questions about being a team coordinator on something. See if you're interested. Okay, so we're going to put this together. Thank you, ladies, so much. Okay. All right. So this is a good way to use up some of your scrap. First of all, I have a piece of white cardstock that I use the corner countryside corner dies um, to cut this out. And then I took a piece of the scrap. All right. And we're going to lay this down right here. Okay. So we'll put this together. And the back side is just as pretty. So this gives it just an added touch it on the card. And what I like to do is kind of just bounce it, get it straight. Okay, so it looks like that. And you, whatever size you have, this is about, let me see, this is about one and a quarter. All right, even one and a half would be good. All right, so we're going to put this back on a piece of bubble bath, just like we did the first one. And we'll trim this off. If you're nervous about doing this, all you have to do is trim a little bit at a time till you get till you get the hang of it. But you can see, I mean, it goes, it's pretty easy because they're straight lines. Okay. 
Okay, so there you have that. So this is going to go on dimensionals, popped up. Sounds like Thursdays is better for everybody. Is that right? Yes, Patty is my sister, Margaret. So we're going to center this. She's my big sister, but she's only four foot ten. <laughs> it's kind of funny. She's dinky. <laughs> Okay, so we have that. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put this together. Now I have all these pieces here from the, um, the die. Um, let me see if I can put them on something else so you can see it better. I'll just use the top of this for now. And then here's the stem. And what I did was I also cut, let me show you, this piece right here, I just cut extra li a little piece of the leaf out. Oh, that's sweet, Diane. Diane said you're very nice, Patty. Diane Kyriotis at the retreat, I mean on the cruise. And the retreat. Okay. So, she said, thank you. So we're going to take this again, put some ink on here. Okay. We're going to put the glue on here. <laughs> I am 5'2". It's so funny, Jackson. And my grandson will come over and see her and he'll say, he'll go up to her and hug her and then he'll say, you're almost as tall as me. <laughs> and, and really, he, she's taller, but he gets it mixed up. Okay, so now I'm going to add this. Patty, they're saying good things come in small packages. She said, so does dynamite. <laughs> you can tell she's my sister. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this is going to go right here on dimensionals. That's funny. This Carolyn says she, her daughter is five foot or four ten and her other daughter is um, my size um, five two. Okay, and then we have the stem here. So we're just going to put this on. Just going to slide this under, just like that. I'm going to pop these out. And I'm also going to cut them apart. So I have two separate leaves here. So this first one, oops, I'm going to put some glue on and just kind of slide it right here. Oops. And what I want to do is... I guess I better put some more glue on it. And here's a little trick. You can just take a piece of scrap paper and just slide it under and then push it down so it'll stay down. Okay, then take the rest of the glue and put it on the back like that. And this one I'm going to go there. Okay, so, so far so good. All right. Okay, so now um, I'm going to do this little piece right here. And oh, I may have enough on this. 
to do both the last couple projects. Okay, so we have this, and I'm going to set this aside for a second. Bring the card back, and I'm going to do a bow. Now, you can wrap the bow around this whole thing, but you really don't need to because it's not going to be seen, just the bow itself, because I covered it up with the sentiment as well. I love how pretty these bows turn out. This um, ribbon is from the combo pack. It has this color, um, the blue, which is azure afternoon, and also um, lemon lolly. And they're all so pretty. And they have this silver thread running through it, which kind of gives it more of a formal look. I love it. All right, so this is going to go right here, right on the line, so you don't see where that comes together. See what I mean? Okay, and then we're going to do, what sentiment did I do? Just a note. So let me grab that. And it is this one. What's that? Yeah, that would be, let me see. What are you trying to do? Yeah, mm -hmm. if that'll, sure. if it fits. I just love doing lives because it feels like you don't have to be perfect. People understand. <laughs> I've been onboarding lots of new people on my team, and um, it's been a whole lot of fun. And, and the good thing is they just have to remember it takes time to get out there. And about the lives, you don't have to be perfect. In fact, I think... My followers like when I make mistakes. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to trim this off like this. Okay. And then this is going to go right here. So see, it covers up that line. And I'm going to put this on dimensionals. Just like that. Okay, so then I'm going to take this and just trim a couple of pieces off here. Put some glue on it, and the outside of the card is just about done now. I just like a touch of silver. Okay. And then I'm put some more glue on the back of that 
so it stays down a little bit better. There. Looks better trimmed up a little bit. Margaret, what did you get delivered today? There. All right, so now I'm going to grab our pearls. I can't believe it. Our retreat is just about three months away. We have lots of cute things planned. So I, for those of you that are going, I hope you... Um, are excited about it. So anyway, this is the outside of the card. Now for the inside, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two pieces here and a piece of the, the um, I'm going to do it so you see more of the ombre. So I'm going to put some of this on the inside. It is a good trick, isn't it? Like that. You can trim this off here and here. And then put this together. Nicole, I'm excited to meet you too. You as well, Margaret. It's um, long overdue. I love the place we have it at. It's, oh, Nicole, you're so cute. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the inside. Shelly, isn't it the best? I love that place for the retreat. It's so convenient. Everything's nice and clean. The people are great to us, so it's a great place. A lot of stuff close by. Okay, so here you go. Here's your second project. All right, and then finally, we have this one right here. So this, I'm going to open and show you what it looks like on the inside. And I am going to add some DSP on the inside right here. So I just have a little pocket here for, um, this has four things of daisy seeds. But um, you can even fit another one in here as well. Okay, so it looks like that. I think it's so cute. All right, so let me get these pieces together. Okay, so the the outside, like the book binding kind of piece, um, is five by seven and a half. And I scored it at three and a half and four. And Nicole, that's funny. Diane, I can't wait either. We do have a lot of fun there. Okay, just like that. Simple. And on the inside, the pocket is four and one eighth by four and three eighths. And on the four and one and one eighth side, it's scored at three eighths and then three and three quarters. You turn it and it's scored at two and two and three eighths. And this will be all be on my blog.
Wow, Rose, that's so nice. I'm, I can't wait to meet you. Last year, I had somebody come from uh, Alberta. Canada. I think we have 17 states coming. Heather, I like the glue a lot. Heather, are you a demonstrator as well? Okay, so I'm just trimming. I'm just trimming up to the first, to the intersecting score line and just making a little, kind of like a tab. I'll show you in just a second. Okay, so there you have it. It looks like that. See how it's just got the tab there? Okay, so what we're going to do is, let's see, we're going to put some glue on the tab here and here. I'm just going to fold this in and hold it for just a second. How did you find me, Heather? I'm feeling better today. I just, um, it's crazy that medication I'm on is makes my blood pressure. I've always had fantastic blood pressure and it's been crazy high, like 197 over 99, which for those of you know, that know that blood pressure stuff, that's very dangerously high. Okay, so I have this little pocket, and now the pocket is three and three eighths by two. So what I'm going to do is cut a piece of um, white cardstock and also um, the DSP just to dress this up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do three by one and five eighths in white. So let me get um, a piece of white. What's that? Okay. What one? Probably just the checker, black and white checker. Okay. Grab the stuff for me. Yep. So that'll be good right here. And then I'm going to take a piece of DSP. Go use that one. And I think I'll just use this side this time. So I'm going to do um, two and seven eighths by one and a half. And that'll fit perfectly. So this side is really pink. So it doesn't show much of the variation. So I'm just going to use the opposite side and it'll look cute. I know it's the, the cancer medication that I'm on just makes it, um, it's just it has all kinds of side effects and that's one of them. Okay. So now I'll put this on. It just kind of just dresses this, the inside pocket up a little bit and it looks nicer. So I'm going to lay that down and put this on here. Okay, so now we're going to put this in here, and I'm just going to line it up. You don't want to see the two score lines here. You don't want to go over this inside score line. So we're going to put the glue on the back of the packet. And... 
best. Just kind of taking my bone folder and burnishing it. Okay, so then if you take your, your little packets here, they fit in there perfectly. Okay, just like that. All right, so on the front, we're going to take these two pieces, and I could put this behind it, but it looks too um, busy. So I'm going to use my other side, the same side I used before. So now I have to, I had to get a monitor, a blood pressure monitor for home. And now I have to um, keep a log. And I have to go back in four weeks. So yesterday I was not feeling well. That blood pressure was making, I had a terrible headache. So anyway, that's why I wasn't on yesterday. So I'm going to remove this one because I want the ribbon behind here. Move this up a little bit. So before I put this down, I'm going to grab my ribbon and we'll just wrap this around like this. Then um, I'll take this off and put them on. Eddie, is your card done yet? Okay. They're anxiously awaiting. <laughs> Might be ugly. Um, Shelly, uh, just a little bit, and that was irritating me as well. It was so bad. Okay, so we're going to go here and put this on straight. Okay, and I'll just trim this off right here for now. Okay, so, so far, so good. All right, and then we're going to build our flower here. So, again, we're going to take the, the ink. Oops. If you don't have these little brushes, you got to get them. They're awesome. All right, got that. And then I have the overlay piece here. And I don't even need these because I have this. I don't need to do that again. So I'll put some glue on the back. Ah, uh, thanks. Yeah, Thursdays, I think I'm, I'm going to switch. I used to do Thursdays a long time ago. But um, it... I had to switch for some reason. I don't even remember why. But now I really need to switch back. So I'm thinking, um, is nighttime better or daytime? The still the same time or would the afternoon, late afternoon be better? Like um, maybe three o'clock or maybe even one o'clock and that's Eastern time. Let me know. Because I could do either. Well, I already have a vote for nighttime. <laughs> now two, two votes. Three votes. Oh, more than that. Okay, so this is going to go right here. And then we'll put the stem on. What do you think about um, what do you think about a short video in the afternoon on a day? Just like one card, like a bonus card. She 
Shelly, you're right. Okay. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this bow on the side. And if you do these for a gift, you probably won't don't want to tie the bow till you're ready to give it so you don't have to untie it because you want to trim it a little bit. And it's harder to tie the bow when it's trimmed to retie it. Okay, and then All right, we're going to stamp. Thank you. And this is from the same um, stamp set. Just a, like a quick card. I'm thinking about maybe my, um, my simple Sunday makeover Monday. Thank you, Lori. Okay, and I did use um, this die right here from the Countryside Corners, and I did die cut this already, all right? I'm going to put this on dimensionals. Got it? Awesome. Leave it there. I'll show them. She's got her card done, ladies. I'll show you at the end. All right, so this is going to go right here. Maybe a little bit over. I have some extra of the little spree stuff here. I can just slide this under. But again, I'm going to make it shorter. I just want a touch of it, not the whole bunch just to accent it. Okay, let me close this. Remember ladies, if you want these make and takes, please make sure you place your order by um, Sunday. Okay, and it, a $40 minimum order. Okay, so we're going to put this on, and I'm going to go here, and one on the, the other side. Oops, it jumped on me. Okay, so here are your projects for today. I hope you like these, and I'll bring them all back in. All right, there you go. And here are the other two. So ladies, thank you for joining me. I will show you my sister's cards in a second, or card, I should say. Um, so thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. And remember the two specials are ending tomorrow, the sign up, as well as the DSP special. So if you're interested in joining my team and you have questions, just send me a uh, message on Facebook with your phone number, and I'd be happy to contact you. Okay, and this is my sister's cute little card. Look at this, how good she did. Is that adorable? 
I love it. She did a great job. She even did a die cut here and um, did like a frame. And there you go. So you can, does she look, do, do her cards look like mine? I think they do. So um, anyway, this is um, her card and her blog will be ready. Um, should be ready very, very soon. So she'd appreciate any um, good, or any um, feedback. So thank you so much for joining me. And um, if you have questions, please let me know and have a great night. Bye-bye.